Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Fuller High School. It is Friday morning, and I am super excited for the weekend coming. Now there's a bunch of more stuff going on around campus that we all need to hear about. So listen up, because this is your Lion Pride News. Alright everybody, let's go to Jerry Kraling for today's very special birthdays. Thanks Shelby. For today's birthdays we have Linda Kinsey, Heaven Williams, Natalie Schwartzfigger, Sabrina Moore, Dylan Majors, Natalie Andrews, Eddie Tunstall, and Caitlin Moe. For Saturday we have Jacob Kapatrick, Andrew James, Gerald Freilich, Chelsea Joyner, Charles Burzett, Jennifer Corez, and Taylor Cameron. And for Sunday we have Brittany DeBose, Bradley DeBose, Hannah Campbell, Carly Joe Davis, and Haley Malo. I hope you all have an amazing birthday. Hello, Foley High School. I'm here with Miss Cody and Miss Baker, formerly known as Miss Caker. Miss Cody, can you tell us what's going on next Friday night? I would love to tell you what's going on next Friday night. Next Friday, January the 22nd, our Lions are playing the Murphy Panthers here at home. And what's going to be awesome is we're actually going to have a pep rally during the games. So you got to come. I'm going to let Ms. Baker tell you about all the cool stuff that we're going to be doing. All right, so Panthers here, they are also blue and gold, so we want to do something different and black out the gym. Come to the game, dress in black, and you get in free. What? I know. Free? Yes. Also, there will be free pizza. We're going to have lots of fun and games, um, music, DJ. so come and support our Lions and Lady Lions. Anything else? I think that's really it. We really want you guys to be there. Free food, free game. There's no reason for you not to be there. So come on out, support the Lions, and we'll see you next Friday. And we're done. Zoom in on the auction space. There will be a financial aid workshop to help students complete the 2016-2017 FAFSA online. FAFSA is free application for federal student aid. The workshop sponsored by Faulkner State Community College will be here at Foley High School on March 9th. This will be a hands-on workshop to assist prospective college students with the 2016-2017 FAFSA. More information is on our school website, foleyhs.com. Hey guys, any of y'all participating in clubs out there might want to listen up to these next few announcements. Good morning, Foley High School. I'm Shelby Hoffman here at the Agriculture Research Center right outside Foley High School with our agriculture teacher, Mr. Jones, and he's going to tell us a little bit about our ag classes. We're out, we're out here in our uh, cotton crop that we raised this year. We planted this crop this summer, and uh, our research center covers 33 acres. We have uh, goats out here, uh, this rotational crop of cotton and uh, we're in the process of uh, getting ready to dig a pond for livestock watering and uh, possible uh, aquaponics projects in the future. Um, this cotton crop out here uh, was planted so that students could see how cotton is grown and understand the cotton uh, process. Uh, cotton is uh, a major crop in our county and uh, we see it a lot on the side of the roads and it's somewhat of a mystery to uh, others. But for example, this cotton crop out here we expect to yield about 600 pounds per acre off of the cotton and uh, that 600 pounds will in turn turn into uh, close to uh, 400 pair of jeans to put it into relation of how, how cotton is used. Um, our next crop will be a cover crop of wheat and feed for our goats and then uh, after that we'll, we'll start another crop in the fall. Well, awesome, that sounds like an awesome class guys. Now back to the news. Winter Ball is Saturday, January 30th from 8 to 11 p.m. at the Foley Civic Center. Tickets are $13 and will be on sale Tuesday the 19th through the 29th from Miss Lorwig in room 208, Miss Cody, room 210, or Miss Willis in room 922. No tickets will be sold at the door. 
The Optimus Club of Foley wishes to announce its upcoming 2015-2016 Optimus International Essay Contest. Contest rules and applications are available in room 507. Deadline for this entry is February 5, 2016. The contest is open to all students 9 through 12. The winner receives a $500 scholarship. For more information, see Ms. Cirelli in room 507. Seniors, listen up. There's some very special information that you need to hear coming up next. The Caitlin Beaumont Memorial Scholarship is now available. Students are asked to write an essay, campaign, or do a video on why you should wear your seatbelt and not text and drive. The requirements for this scholarship are as follows. A 2.5 GPA, any college or technical school of their choice, a cover sheet or resume, ACT or SAT scores are not required. Please send all applications to the Caitlin Bumai Memorial at 3622 Ancient Oak Circles, Gulf Shores, Alabama, 36542. Questions can be emailed to Caitlin's Memorial at hotmail.com or 251-508-0354. Text applications are outside Ms. Lorez's office and they're due by April 30th. The Glenn H. Glass DMD MS PC Glass Orthodontic Scholarship Program annually awards two non-renewable $1,000 scholarships. These scholarships go to graduating high school seniors with $500 distributed each semester. Criteria and eligibility. Applicants must currently be in orthodontic treatment or have completed orthodontic treatment by Dr. Glenn Glass DMD. All applicants must have a GPA of at least a 3.0 on a 4.0 scale at the end of their senior fall semester for consideration of the scholarship. Scholarship recipients will be determined based on essays, academic achievement, and participation in school and community activities. The application process is to be completed by the student, guardian, and school official along with a sealed copy of transcripts. Attach a senior photo, copy is fine. Attach an original typed essay of 500 to 1,000 words on what I am doing and plan to do to make a difference in my community. The application can be obtained on our school website under scholarship. The deadline is April 1st. All right, everybody, let's go to Kelly Brown with our sports news. Thank you, Shelby. If you are a basketball fan and you like to travel, make your way over to Daffy's Gym tonight with games starting at 5 o'clock to support our basketball teams. Also, if you can't travel that far, come to our home gym and support the wrestling team for matches starting at 5 o'clock as well. There will be wrestling matches here at the school starting at 8.30 tomorrow morning. We would love to have a big crowd out. It is a tournament. That's all the sports news I have for today. I'm Kelly Brown. Today for lunch, we're having corn dough or fish sandwich, associate sun chips, baked beans, mixed vegetables, fruit, and don't forget your grab and go. Have a good day. Thought of the Day with Ashley Patterson. On Monday, January 18th, schools, businesses, and government offices across the nation will close in honor of a great American leader, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. As a young person, Dr. King was an excellent student who studied hard, and he loved learning. His love for learning made him a great teacher and minister. He taught the world by way of his example. He taught justice, courage, and nonviolence. In honor of his birthday, let's remember his famous words spoken at the historic march on Washington in 1963. I have a dream that one day in the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. The best way we can honor this great human and all the sacrifices he made on behalf of all humanity is to honor and respect one another. Today, let down the walls of racism and join Dr. King at the table of brotherhood. With something to think about, this is Ashley Patterson. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Okay, everyone, thank you for listening to all those announcements we have for this week. Now, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and we won't be back at school till Tuesday, so enjoy your Monday off for Martin Luther King Day. And before we go, we have some shout-outs to go to Joseph Atkins and Hannah Derwin. I hope you guys have a great day and a happy long weekend.